Hey, what's up? Let's have a, um, I, hope you're, I hope you're doing well wherever you are, you know. Artificial intelligence is instances Oh, Alexa, stop. Alexa, beta Damn, that bitch is always listening to somebody. Um, let's, let's, Alexa, stop. Holy shit. Well, that's not how I intended to start this at all. Um, anyways, this little preamble, I think, is important for the rest of the reaction. And you, you, you know, some people are probably skipping through it. That's cool, you know? You don't even know what I'm saying right now. Steve Ray Vaughan is my favorite. He's definitely my favorite electric guitarist ever. Uh, he might be my favorite guitarist ever. It's, it kind of gets a little complicated when you start going between acoustic guitar and classical guitar and things like that. Um, my hero, my idol, um, he's just a, a god among men. He's a god among humans with his guitar playing. Now, that being said, I hope to actually talk about guitar in the middle of this, and I understand. I understand that when I attempt to talk about guitar, and we're listening to Stevie Ray, they'd be like, dude, you ain't no Stevie Ray. Bro, you ain't gotta tell me. I know that better than anyone on earth. I have been wanting to play like this guy my entire adult life. And I don't play like him. I'm never going to, there's only one of him. Um, I just wanna let you know I have nothing but respect. Nothing but respect. But, uh, you know, we're here to listen to music and talk about music, so. Just remember that. Just remember, just remember anything I say. I'm always thinking in the back of my head. I wish I could live a hundred fucking lifetimes to have a chance to be the musician that he uh, he was. And that's not gonna happen. I'm gonna perish from the fucking earth, not being that dude. So just leave it at that. I have not heard Ain't Gonna Give Up On Love in probably 15 years. I've never heard this version. And I'm really... I'm really excited, man. This is not my... It's like, why does your face look this way if you're, not, if you're like so excited? Because there's a level of sadness. It's two levels of sadness. It's the sadness of what I'll probably never achieve and the fact that he is gone. And so like... I can't even just go and watch him do what he does because he's not with us, you know what I mean? There's a little bit of it's a little bit of sadness, man. Anyways, let's uh Let's watch Stevie be Stevie and I hope the audio in this shit is like decent. Oh, and looking like that. Oh, and by the way, his strap with the music notes, I got that strap because I was like, I wanna be like Stevie. I wish someone had smacked me and been like, don't even buy the strap, dude. That's the woodpecker. Da -da -da -da, da -da -da -da. Oh, by, okay. Oh, one other thing before he starts. I never looked up his, at his height. I'm a small guy. I always assumed he was like 6'4". We're the same height. I'm tiny. I'm like 5'5". Five five. I think he's like 5'5 five five or 5'6 five or something. I would have never thought my whole life until last week. I thought this guy was just a giant because he's a giant when he touches the guitar. God damn. It's just his two notes sound so good. It's not fair. Man, come on, Stevie.
and let him know. I will say, whoa, I hit the wrong button. Hold up. I'll tell you, what I was gonna say, right before the. A lot of people will complain about the blues, especially people who've been playing music, because they're like, it's so simple. It's just like these little small five note scales. And it's like, bruh, if you ain't never sat down and listened to this guy play, you shut the fuck up. Because if it's simple, then just do what he does. If it's that simple, well, then just do what the man does. Okay, so something, this is just for the guitar players out here. This is something that I've uncovered in the last couple of weeks. For me, something that people have known forever, I just, it just I couldn't wrap my, my mind around it. Yeah, he's playing just pentatonic scales, but he's actually moving them around. Now, your initial instinct would be, oh, well, yeah, because when the chords are changing, he's moving the pentatonics. No. No, 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 no. There's sets of movements of pentatonic chords, and he's moving between them even when the chords aren't changing. And they always sound bluesy. So you sound, you think, oh, he's playing that bluesy scale. No, 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 no. He moved somewhere, and they went back. It's like, I don't know what key this song is in. Let's assume it's an A minor. If it's an A minor, what you might find him doing is for a second, he plays a D minor pentatonic and goes back to A minor. But it's so quick, you might not even notice it. You just know that it sounds good. But if you go and track his notes, you're like, oh, wait, wait, wait. He went over here, and then he came back. Brought me to my knees. Cause I was okay, A minor's our spot. Sorry, I'm going off what I see, A minor. It's going to be A flat to minor, because, you know, he tunes a half step down. Give it up, Look at here. Little trying to tell us so. Great rhythm section. What about the midnight cry now? Wanna 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 to the line. What about the price that will open up the truth? Right there. What note is that? I think he's holding a B down. Which, if you're in the, if you're playing A minor pentatonic, there's no B. He's holding down the ninth of the chord. Which is not, that's a stylistic choice. It's not in that, that minor pentatonic scale. It's in the minor scale, but it's not in the minor pentatonic scale. Do you feel me? Do you feel me? He's throwing in a couple of notes that are like, no, these notes don't belong here where you would think they would be. But he's like, no, 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 they do belong. Let me show you they belong. As I hit it, 
and then like make that shit squeal. Oh, you're about to rip my face open. I can tell it. I can tell it. Okay, super awesome respect there's plenty of people sitting in seats. Because that shit is just weird. Like, why am I up here sweating my face off, murdering this guitar, and y'all just sitting in chairs? Okay, so for a second there, he was touching on E minor pentatonic because also, if there's no dominant five chord going on and you're playing on A minor, you can also do E minor. So you can overlay D minor pentatonic, E minor pentatonic, A minor pentatonic. Now all of a sudden, you got three minor pentatonic scales you can kind of move through. Now, if you hang out on, on if you if you go away from A and you hang out too long on D minor or E minor, well, now it sounds like you got lost. But he's like tagging it. He's like, what's up, bitch? I got you. A, uh, uh, e minor. Oh, oh, now I'm back to A minor. No, psh, bitch, I got you. I'm a D minor. Ooh, now I'm back to A. He's just, you tag it. You tag it. They treat your notes like something you can reach out and touch. Boop. And you come back. No matter what you say I do Brother, get it No matter what you say I do His vibrato is my favorite vibrato in all the guitar play, and it's not even close. Just, it's not a close second. I feel like he's shaking, even though it's just his fingertip. I feel like he's shaking the whole stage and his guitar and his body with that sound of his vibrato, man. Every time I try. My guy. It's good to see, man. It's good to see you, Stevie, man. It's good to see you. I have no idea who's gonna be here because on my channel, uh, this is not really what people come here for. So anyone who's here, I thank you for your time. Um,
I just miss, I just, I just miss like watching them all the time. I know it's only YouTube, right? We can all watch it all the time. But I said when I grew up, um, I got the like Austin City Limits and all that, and uh, then recorded them to another VCR. So I'm a VCR tape in, and I would just watch the VCR, watch the VCR, just watch it, and watch it, and watch it. And my mom would come in and be like, "Oh, you're watching TV, Ray? Oh, that's awesome. Oh yeah, it's great. I hope you have a good time." And then like you know, day five, she was like, "You're still watching TV, Ray?" And like day twenty, oh, you just you really watching the same thing like every single time? I'm like, how can I not watch it? How can I not watch it? In my opinion, I, there ain't nobody who's gonna do it better. There's just not. Technically, yeah, there's some dudes who will like shred on some blues or something, but. No, ain't nobody gonna do it the way Stevie did. All I got for you is silence. I got a cat over here who's like angry or something. Well, if you love Stevie Ray as much as I love him, then I'm glad we had a chance to like spend some time together just reminiscing. And uh, if you don't love Stevie Ray and you stayed this long, well, I'm fucking impressed that you've stayed this long. And I hope you found something in this music that uh, resonated with you. And maybe you'll take a second to go find more of the stuff. And if you don't, you know, that's your, that's your life. Do what you want to do. One of a fucking kind, man. Dude in a room trying to act like he's important. Why ain't trying? Well, whatever. I think that's how people see me. Anyway, it's from a dude in a room with a camera. Find, find a little bit of time to be good to yourself. Find a little bit of time. A little bit. Not a lot. You ain't gotta find a lot. Maybe you ain't got a lot. Take a little bit. I don't know you, but you probably deserve it. Fucking take 10, 10 fucking minutes, man. Be good to yourself. Whatever that means. Is that a walk? Is that just talking to yourself? Is that just like having an inner dialogue about what's important to you? Take a couple minutes. Get to know yourself. You might be. You might be a little shocked at what you find. Cat's giving me the stink guy, so I gotta go. I wish you the best.